This video is designed to show you how to use Digital Persona Montage SDK to VB.net and save fingerprint templates into database. First, we need to do is to have this SDK installed to your machine. After that, we need to add the, these DLL files to our project. As you can see here, I've already added these DLL files to my project. Next, I'm gonna show you my database. I have here a table where the fingerprints are saved. By the way, I'm currently using MySQL 8.0 version. I'm saving the tem templates as long log and also I have here the fingerprint ID which was in auto incremented and also I have here the employee ID in order to save a multiple multiple fingerprint templates of one employee employee ID or employee record Let's go back here at my project. I have here three forms, the menu and the capture form, which is the form one. So here's my design for the form one. I have here the picture box name, P box thumb, and also the uh, text box, TXT status, and also the TXT count where the samples needed or the count of the samples needed will display and also I have here the save button and then the close button so let's, let's go here at the menu so I have here two buttons the enrollment and the process and sorry the verification so here when I click the enrollment the process will set to enrollment. So here the public and known term. And when I click the verification, the process will set to verification. Let's go to the form one and where the capture and the process takes place. I will show you the very important codes here on saving and fetching fingerprints. So I have here the implements DPFP capture event handler which produced the these events so like here the on wheel connect on wheel disconnect and so on and also i have here the events like this um, private event on template which will prepare the fingerprint templates and also the private capturer as capture, if we have recapture, and also the private enroller, enroller as DPFP processing enrollment. Next one is I, I, I initialize the capture and enrollment process here. This code will, will create a capture operation and involvement. And also I have here the code where the capture will start. And also I have here the stop capture to stop the capture. So 
So in the next one, as you can see here, I have several events for this scanner, like this one on reader connect, on reader disconnect. Um, this event will make a report that the fingerprint reader was connected and the fingerprint reader was disconnected. And also I have here the events when the finger touch. So it will make a report. The fingerprint reader was touched. So let's go here at this event. Here in the incomplete event, you can see here the ink the if conditions to check if the process is enrollment or verification. Then it will call the process. Process enroll and process verify. So this event or this function rather will process the sample. So the next one here, I have here the functions where the samples were converted into bitmap and also the bitmap will draw into it into our picture box so here and all and the next one is i have here the event or the function where the features will be extracted and will prepare for the process like involvement and verification so let's go here at the process so this sub will create a process involved so here it will draw the sample into our picture box and then the feature will be prepared for the enrollment So here, we have a select case. So if the status is ready, it will stop the capturing and prepare the template to be saved in our database. And also we have here, if the status is filled, so it will stop the capture and restart the capture. So the next one is the verify process. So we also have here the draw picture. And also we have here the features verified, which the extracted features we prepare for the verification. So as you can see here, I fetched the some of the data in my database. So I fetched the FP temp column or the the data in my FP temp column. Then I serialized it, deserialized it. So as you can see here, after fetching the data and deserializing it, it will this um, samples, this sample here, and the save them will prepare for the verification. And after that, if the result of our verification 
is verified, it will make a report here that the fingerprint was verified. Or else, if not, the fingerprint was not verified. So the next one is, I have here the event for the button save. This button will save our fingerprint when the process selected is enrolled. As you can see here, the template was serialized. In order to be saved as blog, and also I have here the proxy employee ID. So let's try to run this project. So, I will show you the enrollment. So, as you can see here, the fingerprint reader was connected. And the samples needed is four. So, let's try to scan our finger, my left thumb. As you can see here, when I touch the fingerprint scanner, it will draw our, my uh, fingerprint into a picture box. So the remain the scan uh, samples remaining is three. Let's proceed. So here, when the samples are completed, it will shows that we can save now. So let's try to hit this button, save. So the fingerprint template is saved successfully. So let's check to our um, database table. So as you can see here, the template or the fingerprint template was saved. So let's proceed to the verification. So here I scan my finger. It shows that the fingerprint was verified. Since we have a fingerprint template here that I saved. So let's try the other fingerprint. It shows that the fingerprint was not verified since um, the left since the left thumb only the left thumb was saved into our database. So let's try another. So my pinky. So here, as you can see, um, the fingerprint was not verified. So that's it. So thank you for watching.